We gotta think about things that are bigger than us. It's time for the Almost Talk Show. What's up, guys? It's your Trevor Eastman is again. We got my girl, say your reason to go. Miss Phoenix in the building. Oh, okay. You there? All right, cool. Awesome. Please, we got Don Quiz in the building. Today's a very special show. What's going on, y'all? How's everybody doing tonight? Doing good. Yes, we up in here. If you hear my voice, you know what time is. We need you to do three important things. We need you to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> 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 to, you. to the homos advice request. Okay, listen to this. I'm looking to manage an artist who is homosexual. I feel like he should be an out artist, but there's a movement in, in the LGBT artists and in the LGBT art, and more people come on board, more in this more powerful movement toward the full embracement as normal. Today I spoke to a heterosexual friend of mine, though, and he became a little upset asking, why must people throw their homosexuality in the face of others? He went on referencing people like Freddie Jackson and Luther Vandross not throwing their homosexuality in the public space. What's my best next move if you were in my shoes? So before I answer that, I'm asking you guys that question. I'm going to start with you, Yuri. What, what's my best next move if you were in my shoes? Um, I actually just started getting um involved in this, and I have two artists who are very different, but both gay. And um, for me, it's whatever is most comfortable to you. Um, because not everybody's ready to share their truth and you don't know what 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 changes may happen in their life by living out this truth. So give everybody their time to accept their truth because some people are losing their families behind just coming out. So imagine, you know, what what's right like they they expect this career to jump off care of their families or whatever, you know, aren't ready for that or whatever they want, you know, because it is more of a for they can because before they see your art, they're judging your sexuality. So I can understand why someone would go back on that and just deliver the art and then at that point releasing that they are. But um, I think it's all about the artist individuality and me it shouldn't be anybody forcing anybody to right thank you so much um your for that phoenix what do you think about this what's my best next move if it was me if um, it was me i guess you, you you i think the first thing that would make me confused is am i bothered more about what this person is saying because i relate to it or because I connect with it in some type of way, meaning like I may be an artist that's unsure about how I want to translate my artistry or how I want to come into the industry. And now one of my fears I'm, you know, I'm dealing with, one of my fears is um, me dealing with somebody who may disagree with my lifestyle or my life choice. And if I look at this person as a friend, that now becomes a conflict for me um, because you know, you don't want to lose friends or you don't want to lose people that you care about due to some, your own truths. But at the same token, being true to myself, if a part of my artistry is expressing my sexuality, then that's something I have to come to grips with. And I also have to understand that everybody, everybody may not agree with that choice. And so this particular friend, you know, he's looking through his heteronormative, nor, normal kind of perspective and he's not being sensitive to the fact that he may be in front of somebody who may feel like that. So I think it's, it's based on personal choice and what you value. Like, if you if you want to be private about your, your personal life, you have that choice. And I think you should have that choice whether you're homosexual or heterosexual. That should be a personal choice. But if a part of your truth is your lifestyle, then, you know, that's something you have to come to terms with and you have to take in that everybody may not agree with that choice. But it's your life. You are right about that. All right, now I'm liking your answers. Now help me out. So now I'm gonna ask um, Dan Quiz to, um, you know, go and let us know if it was the best move for me. What would I do if you were me? Oh, for me specifically, I, okay. I feel like 
I feel like, okay, so like I took a course on, on gender identity and sexuality, right? Within art, the art world, you know what I mean? I feel like the world before Tyler, okay, before Tyler Perry built his studio, if certain people could hide their blackness to get a role to get paid more, they would. So if you can hide your sexuality, I think that's cowardice. You know what I mean? I think that that's cowardice because we got to think about things that are bigger than us. You know what I mean? So if the next generation comes up and they don't see any gay people on TV or they only see a little bit on TV, when we were growing up, it was just RuPaul. He got a lot of slack. Now we got RuPaul, Tadric Hall, and, you know, other people and stuff. So we need to see that bisexual male, that lesbian or that trans. We need to see that. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but like I'm, I just don't think that... Like, like, to, like, if you want to come out, okay, that's your issue. But I feel like you have a platform, you know what I mean? You have to use your platform for something bigger than yourself, you know what I mean? Because you can change the world just by simply being who you are. And you can also change, you know, certain things just by being who you are. And... Like, the thing about, like, like just speaking about identity, period, like, when Monique, Monique is a straight female, right? But they weren't getting the picture, you know what I mean? They were arguing with this black female. They were saying, why won't you just take the money? You know what I mean? Because she was saying, we're not getting paid equal. What is wrong with you? You know what I mean? So, I need to see, you know what I mean? Just, you know, I feel like, I, I feel like it's my pillar, and you'll hear it in my music, in my, in my future raps and stuff like that. You'll hear it in my music, you know what I mean? Like, um, that we have to, like, speak about who we are and we have to be brave regardless of the outcome, regardless of if we'll be successful or fame or not, whatever. Because right now, as we're speaking right now, we're coming in numbers in music, period. And we're not coming in numbers as an artist being signed to a label. We're coming in as our own labels, as our own entities, as our own cleverness because let me tell you if they had the choice if these straight people had the choice they would keep us behind the camera and to your point i actually um phoenix to your point i actually lost friends because of that you know what i mean like i actually lost friends because i had this um i had this friend who's in the industry and she's done some some work and stuff like that she's straight and no matter what anything that i did she didn't like it you know what i mean and then it gets to a point where you know how, we know when someone we're all black so or or whatever you know what I mean we know when someone's racially profiling us you know what I mean we know it you know what I mean when it comes to the gay issue straight people don't know what they're talking about whether they're black or white you know what I mean until we say something about it you know what I'm saying so I I know what it feels like to be purposely like disregarded yes dismissed dismissed you know what I mean. I know what it's like to be purposely dismissed, and I know the talent that I have. So it's like she she does great work. I can't take away from her. You know what I mean? But if she knows what who I am and what I do, and you know my artistry and stuff like that, if it'll make us both look good, she'd rather hurt herself than than to see me in charge doing my stuff. You know what I mean? And I'm tell like it's crazy because like we gotta tell these stories because because. <laughs> She's a marginalized group because she's a black female. You know what I mean? But she can't see that I'm a marginalized group because she's just seeing me as a male. You know what I mean? You know, so it's like, I hate to be so dichotomous, but it is divisive. You know what I mean? Because she didn't realize what she was doing and I was trying to explain it to her. And it, I wasn't the only person. I was just a catalyst to bring it to her attention. You know what I mean? It was happening. You know what I mean? She only argued with gay men. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm just like, yo, you can't, like, I was like, look, I was like, you're hurting yourself because people are going to see this as you're coming up. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm like, I don't want to lose this friendship. I don't want to do this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, but I, I'm sorry, but I think, I think it's very cowardice for um, the LGBTQIA community to not be out in the industry. I think it's cowardice. There's no excuse now. Tyler Perry got a studio, and if you mm -hmm. watch his interview, he said that there's LGBTQ people with, with, um, you know what I mean, that are getting acting jobs because he built his studio, and there's people with disabilities, mental or physical, that are getting jobs because he built his studio. 
Well, I mean, he's not the only one. So I tell them it's a catalyst and a help. But if he's not feeling, they will. Some of these people get these orders before him, and they will get them. You know, he won't be the only one. So that's um, you know, it is what it is with that. But now, you know, now, now, that I, now that I heard everybody's opinion and what everybody had to say, if it was me. Now I'm gonna be me and manage my artists, and I'm gonna tell my artists that if you're gonna rock with me, me being the artist and the creative I am, first and foremost, I'm gonna be telling you to be true to who you are, because the only way you're gonna make timeless music and be as lifelong as an artist, have a lifelong career, is if you're honest and true to yourself. Because the reason why Luther Vandross and those other people that were named were great at what they did was because in that time and area that they were in, it was best for them to keep it to themselves. But in this day and age that we are now, you can't be expected to be Prince or Michael Jackson if you don't be honest with who you are um, to, to, to the person that God created you to be. There's nobody in this earth, nobody in this world like you. It's only one person like you. And so the only one person like you, the only person you to be was free. Take that, take that, the opportunity you have as an artist. If you call yourself an artist to be creative, use that space to make it happen. And if you are LGBTQ, it is your duty to be a part of the community that you are a part of. If you identify as LGBTQ, your LGBTQ might not be the same as somebody else's in regards to how you present yourself. <coughs> because of the world and how they present gay in different ways, all, you know, or lesbian in different ways, but be that it be what you are and what it is to you. I think what we get lost in translation is the foolery of what gay has become and what seeing wise and that talking and the movements and the, you know, men, you know, wearing the makeup and looking like, we're like either confused and wearing it with the beard and the man. It's a lot of foolishness sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And I think that people get lost in that. But be honest with you, if that's what you feel like, that's what you wake up feeling like, then do that. Um, but um, we're going to um, ask our, our viewers that question. So this question goes back to the viewers. I'm looking to manage an artist who is homosexual. I feel that, should be, he should, he, that they should be an out artist because they are a part of the LGBT movement. And more and more people are coming aboard to be a powerful part of this movement and embrace it as normal. But I spoke to her head your friend today and he told me, um, he was in the world setting asking, why do people throw their homosexuality in the faces of others? He went to reference Freddie Jackson and Luther Vandross not throwing their homosexuality in the public space. What's the best move for me? And fewer of my shoes. Talk to us, let us know, comment, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know, we'll just find back to you. And uh, we'll let you guys know what we want to do. We want to know what you guys think. We want to know what you guys feel. Um, and um, that's what we're here for. We're just going to be giving it to you. But now we're going to move things along to the homos. Like that. 